welcome to learndaddy.com in this tutorial we are going to learn auto constraint तो इस tutorial में हम सीखेंगे auto constraint के बारे में so let's start we are going to start with the creating new document simply I am going to click on the new and we are going to select the part okay so as we now going to select the plane and start our sketch now we are on the sketch workbench we simply start with the creating new sketch so I am creating a sketch Now we have created the sketch with the use of profile. Now as you can see this sketch is not constrained. We are going to make this sketch constrained. We can make this sketch constrained by using the constraint. You can see this option. We provide the dimension to make it constrained. So now simply we are going to provide the auto constraint. You can see the option. So as you can see my sketch is in white the lines are in white we are going to make it constrained and then it converts into green so simply we are going to make it constrained with, with the help of auto constraint you can find the option simply go to insert and auto constraint you can see my constra auto constraint dialog box has been open and now we are going to select the element first of all I'm going to select the elements that I want to constrain okay 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 now we are going to select the reference element I am going to select this one and this one okay now you can see the constraint mode change I I'll choose the chain mode and here you see now as you can see my sketch is constrained you can see now we are going to set the dimensions okay We are only setting the dimensions so that we can see it clearly. Okay. 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 Now we are going to edit these dimensions. So this is how we're gonna do. We are simply click, double click on it, and change the dimension. I'll simply change it to seventy. This one I like to be forty. Thirty five is perfect. Okay. Then what this one also we thirty five. Okay. Ninety. The angle I want to change it to sixty. Okay. And this one what? Okay. Now you can also change this one if you want to change. I'll simply make it 45 not 45 50 okay you can see 120 okay so as you can see we make the sketch constraint by using the auto constraint 
simply we don't use the dimensions or I can say the constraint option so we choose this one auto constraint to constraint our sketch so in this tutorial we have learned about the auto constraint I hope you like this video and thank you Thank you.